Elijah Wall with Florida Leisure and today I've got the king of Lego, Adrian Jones with me who's the general manager here at Legoland Florida. Adrian, we're celebrating the first birthday of Legoland Florida. Absolutely. It's been a year and a bit for you I would think, so tell me a little bit about what's been going on over the last year, what's really delighted you, some of the things that haven't delighted you so much, how you've been received in the community and basically what your thoughts are on the first year. Yeah, I think, well firstly I can't believe that 12 months has gone past so quickly. Uh, it's uh, quite an uh, amazing year. We've had a great year first and foremost. I mean, Legoland Florida has been a huge success uh, and uh, the numbers have been phenomenal. Now, I think the, the, big, the big challenge that we've had and the, the big highs that you asked me about, I mean, the, the biggest high I had was literally flicking the switch right. 12 months ago and watching all those confetti cannons going off with yeah, made for great pictures it, oh amazing pictures yeah. but the the pressure for me uh, it, it was it was twofold one was that you had the grandson of the inventor of Lego and the CEO of Lego watching me <laughs> from, the, from a corner yeah. and the and, and members of the board and the CEO of, of Merlin watching me all my team, uh, you've got a guy called Bill Volbrick who designed the park, uh, watching you. And the the sense of emotion that was going through me at that point was, uh, I don't think I could ever describe it. It's like right. it's like it's like Stoke, Stoke City scoring a goal. I'm taking uh, a couple you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Now I'm going to work out how to get walls in on this video. <laughs> Oh yeah, I know how to do it. <laughs> but, but, but the sense of emotion that was going on, and there was also a bit of, I wouldn't say, yeah, a bit of relief that we'd actually made it. You right. Know, it was, it was an impossible task, almost, or seemingly impossible task. Yeah. I mean, when you announced the park was going to be open, I mean, you only announced it probably what ten months, if twelve months, maybe max, before yeah. it was going to open. That's a yeah. huge amount of work that you had to do here to design. Huge. And and it was a design and build, and we were designing things right up to the very end, just before we were building them. I mean, it was, it was, right. we were chasing our tails, and then. We had some weather damage in August of okay. 2011, just before we opened, which, which set us back a couple of weeks, and we just didn't think we were going to make it. So there was a little bit of a sense of relief that I kept my job as well. That was, <laughs> <laughs> that was the other side. <laughs> the yeah, yeah. But um, but but also uh, we opened the park, and um, let's let's be honest. When you open a project of this size, the way we did, there were a million things wrong. Uh, and, and I want to say a million things, little things. I was going to say, because to, to me, I mean, the, the <laughs> lot looked amazing to start with, you know. And of course, we, we all understand there's going to be a few teething problems, but I think you did a really great job. So that's interesting that you say that. So do you want to develop that a little yeah, bit? Yeah, well, I'm, 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 I'm a perfectionist. I mean, I work, I work with a million attractions where we, 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 you know, only the best is good enough in Lego as well. It's, and, it, and, it, and I was super, super critical of, of silly things like signage, not enough shade. Oh, talking of signage, there is a wolf sign in the park. <laughs> I told yeah, you I'd get that in. We've got to take that down very soon, actually. Uh, they are Lego wolves, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, um, we will be, uh, we, we had a million things that we, you worked to get better signage. Um, heat lamps in the restaurants, uh, misters in the park were lacking. We hadn't got enough shade on some of the ride areas. Right. We hadn't got enough food outlets, you know. There were things that we said we, we would do at a later date. And, we, we then embarked on a 12 months of you know two million dollars worth of improvements right. little things you know shades on the extreme ride uh, we put uh, we've added four more food units uh, right. we're, we're already we're also building a restaurant at the in Lego City which will be a hundred seater uh, in a, in a air-conditioned chicken restaurant right opposite the driving school okay. so you know the, the amount of work that we we created with me being a perfectionist was colossal. Right. But you um, listen you listen to the people coming in, you took the action that was necessary and it seemed that the expense was secondary consideration to the guest experience. Yeah and, and also uh, yeah you're right and, and the other thing I was was we, we also kind of were self rectifying a lot of the things. So for example some of the shade was because a lot of the trees were new that we planted. Right. Well twelve months growth of, of, of tree <laughs> makes a big difference. Right. So um, I think what we've added and what we are planning on adding is, is going to make a significant difference. Throw in the water park, okay. you know, seven months after opening, and my team were were under the cosh of it. Yeah, and, yeah. and that that's been that's been hard to manage. But the energy and the enthusiasm of my team and watching them grow has also been quite high as well on the back end of the rectifying some of the lows. Right, you know. Okay. 
So what about the community at large in, in the area in Central Florida, and then what about the visitors? I mean, how have they received you? What, what have been some of the things that you've, you've seen there? Well, I think Polk County in general, as I've said to you before, uh, has had a spate of bad luck. You know, they, they've lost the old Cypress Gardens, they've lost a lot of uh, baseball. There was, the, the, you know, no job creation, uh, uh, a lot of school children who were on meal tickets and, and the like. So we had, we've added 1,300 jobs straight away. We've, we've kind of raised the bar in terms of you know, putting Polk back on the map again uh, in the first instance. And we've, we've kind of created a whole wave uh, of optimism. And, I, and 12 months on, I think that you know, a lot of my team are involved in a lot of community projects. I've made myself very uh, available for things like Chamber of Commerce and uh, Leadership Orlando and lots of other things that I've done. And I, and I think that was also really important. But I think it's that wave of optimism that's been created, right. linked to jobs, that has just given people a little bit more hope. Right. Uh, we, we're doing second grade, uh, Polk, all Polk schools, second graders get a free field trip. And I was horrified when I came here to find out that you know, you, they didn't have any school trips because they couldn't afford them. Yeah. So we made it possible. Yeah. Uh, and it's, yeah, it's gone down, community. yeah, and it's gone down really well. And, and the, and the school board have really been quite supportive of us and very pro. In fact, we just won an award from the Polk County School Board. So, you know, it, there's, there's a lot going on still as, yeah. we, as we grow. So as we review the year then, let's just touch on one or two of the, the funny things that may have <laughs> happened here, because I'm sure there's something... Everything went like clockwork, yeah, nothing that goes, went wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that goes around the office has been a point of fun. What would you, what would you tell everyone that you know, was one of the funniest well, things? Well, one of the funny ones, which you've just been reminded to me actually, but, uh, you know, was the, Chris, the lighting of the Christmas tree, which um, we, we, for all the intents and purposes, we had a huge Christmas tree made of Duplo, and, uh, I was there with a, uh, a, a celebrity and um, we went to flick the switch and I, the idea was that all these little you know, jets would go off, confetti cannons and uh, the tree would light. Well let's just say the first flick of the switch nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> and, so you go and, into that one. <laughs> yeah, and, and all the guests are there and they didn't really notice, so they just thought it was that the Santa guy saved me a little bit by saying oh, that, that's the dry one yeah. or whatever. But my team behind the scenes were all split, they were frantic. They saw the look of horror in my eyes and they'd say, what's going on? So, and then the second time, fortunately, they flickered into life. Right. But, um, yeah, that was a- So it was a near miss. Yeah, more a, fun, more, more a funny moment for everybody else, except me, yeah, yeah, which is yeah, probably why I didn't remember it as a funny moment. <laughs> so hopefully this year at Christmas, it'll go right. I, 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 I think you can probably put your mortgage on the fact that it'll go right this time. There might be a few people mightily terrified if it doesn't go well this time. To okay, so let's let's just touch on what's left for 2013, and then moving yeah. forward into 2014. You've got the Star Wars thing coming next month in November. Yeah, November the 9th is the date that we've just announced, um, and uh, it's a Star Wars mini land uh, okay. that we're, we're we're opening, and it's like the, the model displays that you walk through, and re you basically see different scenes from from Star Wars movies, but. Again, another lovely expansion to a, an area of the park that was just a thoroughfare from uh, adventure through to Miniland. Um, and then, um, you know, next year we, we're already working on new new things for next year. Okay. I don't think I can announce, but we will be um, we, we will have a continuous uh, supply of new ideas and new rides, new attractions, and things that we're going to be looking at. And um, that's the Merlin way. That's one. Okay. So it's very much a case of watch this space. Absolutely. Well, I just want to say thank you for taking a moment of your valuable time to spend with me today. Always a pleasure. Appreciate it greatly. <laughs> Always a pleasure.